Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the historic Moroccan national team's victory over the Portuguese national team 1-0 and its qualification for the semi-finals of the 2022 World Cup as the first Arab and African team to achieve this historic achievement. His Majesty expressed his sincere congratulations to King Mohammed VI and the brotherly people of Morocco, expressing His Majesty's pride in this honourable and great global victory and the heroic performance of the Moroccan national team players, who recorded an unprecedented achievement in the history of Arab football. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa patronises tomorrow the opening of the first session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 75 of 2022, designating the Minister of Finance and National Economy as the Minister responsible for the undertaking the competencies of the shareholder of Nuga Holding, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and after the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 76 of 2022, designating the Minister of Oil and Environment as the Minister responsible for Noga Holding before the National Assembly, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and after the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 77 of 2022, Dr Mariam Hassan Al Sayed Mustafa as Chief Executive Officer of the Education and Training Quality Authority for a four-year term, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and after the approval of the Cabinet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, marking the historic victory by the Moroccan national team and its qualification as the first Arab and African team to the semi-finals of the 2022 World Cup. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the Moroccan team's exceptional performance in the match, wishing the Moroccan team continued success in the upcoming semi-final match. His Royal Highness also sent two similar cables to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Morocco, Prince Moulay Al Hassan, and to the Prime Minister of Morocco, Mr Aziz Al Kanouch. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Chairman of the Gulf Air Group Holding Company Board of Directors, Zaid bin Rashid Al Ziani, and members of the Board of Directors at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness emphasised the importance of the logistics sector in supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development and economic growth, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness emphasised the Gulf Air Group Holding Company's long-term goals and its key role in supporting efforts to enhance the competitiveness of the logistics services in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness noted the importance of further strengthening cooperation and integration among the companies affiliated with the Gulf Air Group Holding Company, which will generate a positive impact on the advancement of the logistics sector and its capabilities, including the creation of quality jobs for Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness commended Team Bahrain's achievements in the logistics sector, which has consolidated the Kingdom's position globally in the transport services and air navigation sectors. His Royal Highness directed that the efficiency of the logistics services be further improved by Bahrain's logistics service sector strategy as part of the Sustainable Economic Recovery Plan. His Royal Highness thanked them for the contribution to the sector's achievements and wished them continued success in their future endeavours. For their part, the guests expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his support to the Kingdom's logistics sector and committed to further improving the Kingdom's logistics sector and its services. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqfa and relevant authorities to complete the implementation plan of building nine mosques in East Hid and to allocate the necessary budgets for the project. His Royal Highness also directed relevant authorities to proceed immediately with the construction of a mosque for the Al-Julia and Umm al-Suwali neighbourhoods, while maintaining the current arrangements of the venues designated for performing prayers until the completion of the construction of the mosques in East Hid. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Amman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 
issued a circular regarding the public holidays of the National Day and the 23rd anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, government departments and public institutions will be closed on Friday and Saturday, 16th and 17th of December 2022, respectively. The circular also stipulates that as Friday and Saturday coincide with two official public holidays, Sunday and Monday, 18th and 19th of December, will be given in lieu. The President of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH Lieutenant General, Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Manama Health Conference and Exhibition, which has been held in cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt, in the presence of the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, and Chairman of the Unified Procurement Authority in Egypt, Major General Baha El Din Zidane, and the CEO of the National Health Regulatory Authority, NHRA, Dr. Maryam Athbi Al Jalama, and a number of officials. The conference and exhibition will continue until December the 13th, which a large participation from the GCC countries and lecturers from different countries of the world. The SCH president delivered a speech in which he said that the conference and exhibition is the result of constructive cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt and coincides with the 50th anniversary of Bahraini-Egyptian diplomatic relations. He underlined the close relationship between Bahrain and Egypt thanks to the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah El Sisi. He said that the conference is an opportunity to exchange expertise and successful experiences and to review the latest developments in medical treatments in various fields. CEO of NHRA said that scientific conference hosts 130 speakers from Bahrain, Egypt, GCC countries, India, Singapore and the US, covering nine themes and 15 workshops. The Southern Municipality inaugurated the lighting of the Bright Corridor on December the 16th Street in the presence of His Highness the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture, Wala Mubarak and other officials. The attendees toured the illuminated corridor and viewed the artist's drawings with the participation of female guides, the Centre for Gifted Students at the Ministry of Education and a number of sculptors and artists. Upon the directors of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Governor launched a package of popular activities coinciding with Bahrain's celebrations of its national holidays. The Southern Governor held a parade for the people of Rifa. The events come as part of the Southern Governorate's keenness on community participation in the national holidays by strengthening the role of community partnership, consolidating the values of belonging and citizenship and coordinating with various security and government agencies and a number of civil society institutions. The Minister of Interior toured the open prisons complex in the presence of the Public Prosecutor, the Chief of Public Security and the President of the National Institute for Human Rights. The Interior Minister listened to a briefing by the Director General of Verdict Enforcement and Alternative Sentencing, Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid Al Khalifa, in the open prisons complex, which includes an educational building that is equipped with the latest modern educational systems. The Minister also inspected one of the residential units, which was established in a manner that ensures providing living needs and services and a gymnasium. The Minister was briefed on the efforts of the Verdict Enforcement and Alternative Sentencing Directorate in coordination with concerned authorities to equip the open prisons complex according to human rights standards that ensure providing all services for inmates. On the occasion, the Minister affirmed that this civilised and humanitarian project came to embody the principles of the reform era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the follow-up and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Amman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop the criminal justice system and continue the national efforts to enhance human rights. He added that the Open Prisons Programme is a continuation of the successes achieved in the Alternative Penalties Project and is an honourable and qualitative achievement in human rights and in enhancing the Kingdom's status and its regional and international reputation. He noted that human rights in Bahrain are a civilised heritage and an integral part of the society's culture. 
He stated that the Open Prisons Programme is part of the Alternative Penalties Project and comes as a stage that precedes the Alternative Penalties Programme and a number of those who have served part of their sentence in the Corrective and Rehabilitation Centre benefit from it to prepare them to integration into society. He noted that the programme is a realistic example for modern programmes in the human rights field and the systems of the Correction and Rehabilitation Centres and one of the effective programmes implemented by the Directorate in the field of enhancing community security. At the end of the visit, the Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Directorate of Verdict Enforcement and Alternative Sentencing for its role in implementing the programme and providing the preparations required at a record time. He also expressed appreciation to the authorities who supported the implementation of the programme and to the private sector institutions. The Judicial and Legal Studies Institute held the 21st Board of Trustees meeting, chaired by Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Judicial Council, the SJC, President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the Institute approved the training plan for the next year, in addition to following up on the implementation of institutional and operational development projects, particularly the increase of the implementation of training programmes, noting the Institute's success in implementing 112 training programmes, with more than 2,000 training hours, benefiting 4,200 trainees from various institutions. The Institute also discussed the second edition of implementing the Law Practitioners Programme in English, in cooperation with several major law firms operating in Bahrain. The meeting noted the Institute's training and organisational expertise and capabilities, which helped implement a large part of the programme for training candidates for judicial work, Future Judges Project, with high efficiency and professionalism. A press conference was held to announce the launch of the Technical Development Programme, which aims to train and support university graduates and job seekers with technical qualifications and specialisations to employ them in government and private sectors and make them the first choice in the labour market. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed that the development of the labour market in Bahrain is due to the support it receives to enhance its contributions in a comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King and a result of the policies adopted by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister which provided more qualitative opportunities for citizens, especially in qualitative sectors such as AI and IT. He pointed out the importance of the programme, which is in line with the National Employment Programme within the Economic Recovery Plan. For his part, the Information and E-Government Authority Chief Executive, Mohammed Ali al Qaid affirmed that the cooperation with the Ministry of Labour aims to develop Bahraini cadre skills in the ICT field, in line with the national efforts aimed at developing promising sectors. We're talking today about the uh, technical development program, which is an initiative that has been uh, launched today officially by uh, e-government uh, information and uh, government uh, e-government authority uh, with the uh, support, uh, financial support of Ministry of Labour. Uh, this initiative uh, will uh, hold 80 of the fresh graduates, uh, IT uh, specialties, uh, that uh, will be enrolled in a program, a training program on job training training plus they will be also uh, given two uh, professional certificates throughout the program which is uh, the time of the program will be one year uh, this year will be repeated uh, the same program I mean will be repeated and each year will have a batch of 80 graduates as part of Bahrain's National Day celebrations the Minister of Information uh, Dr Ramzan bin Abdullah al Nawemi, in the presence of his majesty the King's advisor for media affairs Nabila Hammer visited the festival, organised by the Ministry of Information on the occasion of the national holidays in the heritage village of Ras Hayyan in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed al fitah in 1783 at the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. On the occasion, the Minister congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa and the people of Bahrain wishing many happy returns. He added that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, uh, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, has become an inspiring model in development that received regional and international praise due to the comprehensiveness and diversity of its development experience. 
Anoemi noted that the festival reflects the ministry's keenness to participate in this national occasion and to highlight the kingdom's achievements, which consolidate the values of belonging and patriotism in citizens. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the efforts of the festival's organisers. Al Noemi and Al Hammer toured the festival, where they reviewed its artistic and recreational activities and events that embody an important aspect of the authentic Bahraini identity. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakro, visited Manama Central Market to inspect its conditions and ensure the availability of all basic foodstuff. The Minister monitored the smooth sales and availability of varieties of fruits and vegetables at stable prices and listened to the observations and requirements of sellers, noting that the Ministry, through complementary roles with the relevant authorities, always seeks to overcome obstacles and find appropriate and sustainable solutions to maintain the vitality and flow of the market. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's efforts to promote the commercial sector and enhance its productivity and sustainability. As part of Bahrain's National Day celebrations, the Maharat Governorate organised a national celebration at Arad Fort under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Advisor for Youth and Sports, Salah bin Hindi Al Manai, and in the presence of the Governor of Maharat, Salman bin Hindi Al Manai. The event was also attended by the Minister of Tourism, Fatimal al Sarafi, citizens and residents. The Governor extended congratulations on this occasion to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain's embassy in the United States held a reception marking Bahrain's National Day, the commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state during the era of the founder Ahmed Al Fatah as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 AD and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. During the ceremony, Bahrain's ambassador to the US, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he extended warmest congratulations to His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulating the people of Bahrain on this occasion. The ambassador underlined the historical Bahraini US relations, which are characterised by the spirit of partnership, friendship, and solidarity stressing the need to continue enhancing cooperation, especially with regard to security, trade, economic, cultural and other aspects, highlighting the importance of the agreements concluded between the two countries that strengthen the bilateral strategic partnership. Bahrain's permanent mission to the UN also held a reception marking Bahrain's National Day. The commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state during the era of the founder Ahmed Al Fatah as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 AD and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN in New York, Ambassador Jamal Arouahi, and members of the permanent mission received well wishes on the occasion. In his speech during the ceremony, the permanent representative affirmed that Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and under the directors of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa continues to make efforts to promote the values of tolerance, coexistence and peace in all parts of the world. Bahrain's ambassador to Spain, residing in London, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a reception and lunch banquet in Madrid on the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its national holidays in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state during the era of the founder Ahmed Al Fatah as Arab and Muslim state in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne, affirming Bahrain's keenness to strengthen the two kingdoms' relations in various areas of common interest. The ambassador delivered a speech during the ceremony in which he praised the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and the importance that Bahrain attaches to strengthening the cooperation with Spain at all levels, noting that these relations are not limited to friendship but extend to common principles between the two kingdoms, represented in peace, coexistence, a dialogue and mutual respect, highlighting the visit of the Pope of the Vatican, Pope Francis, to Bahrain. He added that the economic partnerships between the two kingdoms are witnessing remarkable prosperity and that efforts continue to support cooperation and facilitate all procedures to double the existing trade exchange to achieve the two countries' aspirations and common interests. 
on his part, Director General of the North African and Middle Eastern Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to Spain, Ambassador Alberto Ossile, highlighted during his speech the depth of the existing relations between Bahrain and Spain, expressing aspirations to strengthen and support these relations. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passport and Residency Affairs, NPRA, inaugurated the Passenger Services Centre at Bahrain International Airport. The Under Secretary noted that the centre is part of 24 initiatives launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop NPRA services within the framework of the Economic Recovery Plan, which aims to provide, innovate and integrate assisted services for travellers and comes in implementation of the Minister of Interior's directives. The Under Secretary stressed the importance of continuing to excel in providing services, applying efficiency and quality standards and providing all forms of support, especially to specialised training and the provision of modern technologies to provide the best services to travellers with a high level of accuracy and achievement, pointing to the importance of monitoring the performance level that reflects Bahrain's integrated civilised aspect. During his visit, he was briefed on the work mechanism of the centre, which operates around the clock and on the various services it provides. On the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state, founded by Ahmed al fatah in 1783, an anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the National Days Festival, which is organised by the Ministry of Information, kicked off at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan. The festival opens to the public from 5pm to 11pm and will continue until December the 19th. It will feature a wide range of public functions and activities, including the folkloric bands and the popular souk. Many public establishments are taking part in this year's festival, including the Education, Health and Tourism Ministries, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority and Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities.